So what is a cycloid? So we're going to make one now. And you'll see in this video how a cycloid is made. So we begin with a circle. You can see the roll of tape there. And there is a marker taped to the circle. And where I'm showing you with the uh, mouse cursor, that's going to be the y-axis. That's the y-axis. And the intersection of the floor and the wall is going to be the x-axis. So we start at the origin. And look at what I'm doing with the circle. I'm turning it. So there is an angle of rotation uh, that is associated with the motion of the roll of tape. Now I have rolled the tape a full revolution corresponding to an angle of rotation of two pi radians. So now I keep going and I roll the tape one more time and I have an angle of rotation when I get to the top of that uh, cycloid, that's an angle of rotation equal to a half revolution or pi radians, but a full revolution would be two pi radians. So what you see here are two arches of a cycloid. So we begin here at the origin. So we're moving in a little bit closer so you can see it better. So we began here at the origin. This is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. And you can see from the video that I rolled the tape a certain angle of revolution. By the time I had a complete revolution, I ended up here. So the parameter in our derivation will represent the angle of rotation of the circle. And as a function of theta representing the angle of rotation of the circle, I'd like to come up with a set of parametric equations for the x and the y coordinates of points on this curve that you see traced out by the marker.